Now, in addition to the tragic loss of life and property, scientists are also concerned about the environmental damage, both on land and underwater. Biologists who have spent decades studying marine life there fear the aftermath will endanger coral reefs. Here's NBC Bay Area's Ian Cole. The recovery mission on Maui and the people who live there are top of mind for many around the country, including the marine biologists who have been researching on the island for years. I think all of our primary concerns are the health and well-being of all of the people who lost so much on Maui. Dr. Jennifer Smith is the director of the Marine Biology Research Division at UC San Diego and specializes in coral reefs. My team was literally just on Maui a few weeks ago. We have long-term study sites there. We were staying in Lahaina. But she's also worried how the wildfires and the destruction left behind could impact the famous coral reefs and marine life around Maui. The corals are attached to the bottom of the ocean. They cannot move. So if you were to rain a bunch of sediments, ash, debris on top of them, they could essentially become smothered. Add to that that a lot of this ash and debris could have chemical toxins. Dr. Smith says there's a lot of oil and gas on the surface too right now because of all the boats and cars that burned. Never did we think it would hit Lahaina Town and just raise the, the urban area. Manuel Mejia with the Coral Reef Alliance in Hawaii says coral reefs require clean, clear, low nutrient water to grow. And when you have ash fall making the water cloudy and then smothering the corals, that tends to increase a lot of nutrients and bacteria in the water, which aren't good for coral reef growth and reproduction. Once recovery missions subside, scientists will use equipment to monitor the sea life over the next few months much of it just feet away from the destruction. We haven't seen a fire of this scale kind of interacting or meeting the ocean where there are sensitive coral reefs offshore, so it's hard to know what we're going to see there. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.